Oh, really, it's just about enjoying painting. And, I, and, and the medium of paint that I use is something that comes out very vibrant and bright and something that I use here it just helps out with that and I don't know it's fun well these ones here the two flowers at the bottom they're based on you know reading a Mandela book that inspired me to do those but as far as everything else goes just having a lot of good friends that are tattoo artists that helped out with making me have the want to paint something and so a lot of the inspiration came from my friends but for the most part it's just about painting and having fun with it really when? 2008, 2007 maybe, It's when I first started getting into it, but the last year I've spent a lot of time, just have a lot more, I've been enjoying it a lot better, you know, so, yeah. First show ever, yeah. It's been hi they've been hiding in my top drawer in a little folder for a year. <laughs> Chris, who owns the shop, um, and Kirsten, they both like. I was in the show, came into the store a couple weeks ago, and they told me they were moving and mentioned that they were going to be doing an art show. And I'm like, oh, I, here's some of my pictures. And they're like, oh, sure, let, let's let's do it. And so for the last couple weeks, I've been a little nervous about it all, you know, and it's been fun all in the same time and enjoying every minute of it. So. Well, I would say that it all started uh, because my mother was a painter and um, she painted my whole life so I was, you know, influenced by her. And when I was about 12 she gave me all of her oil paints and she, she stopped painting so much and she introduced me to Bob Ross so I would sit and paint with, you know, videos of Bob Ross and happy bushes and happy trees and um, I think that's where it all started. I think. Uh, my parents really encouraged me to do it, and when I started making art in school, they just kept pushing me towards doing that. There was just no other option. That was just what I was going to do. And uh, as it went along, I went to Sejep in arts and university, and I started selling more paintings, and people would just ask me to, to make random paintings for them, and it started kind of there. I think um, in 2002, I started selling all of a sudden so I decided to open my own business and register a business called Impressed and um, that was definitely where it all took off. Um, I've had that business for the last 10 years and I've gone from um, Montreal to showing in Toronto to living and showing in Nantucket and um, that, that same business has brought me here to Victoria which is where I guess this all um, is happening, yeah. <laughs> um, most of my paintings have been acrylic on canvas. I've pretty much stuck to that um, medium. Uh, I used to work a lot in textiles, but I think that uh, painting was always a language that I was more comfortable with. And so um, this show and my other show, Down at Being Around the World, are both um, 
two-dimensional pieces that I try to really get a three-dimensional quality. I'm trying to learn about um, space or um, making something two-dimensional, three-dimensional. I think that over the years I've learned a lot about flat space becoming um, uh, working from the background to the foreground. And I think that the, the landscapes that being around the world are a little bit more of a representation of what I have been learning in terms of space and aerial perspective and just the, the beauty and the, the expanse of the West Coast, the um, ocean, the, uh, the not only serenity and the peace that it offers, but also the space, just how much space we have, just Canada in general, but the West Coast has opened up um, the, the mountains, the whole ocean and mountain combination. I think that we are so fortunate here to be living here and to be exposed to all of this, and that is a lot of what I'm trying to express in my newer work. I think that this work is a lot more closer up, and it's a lot about interpersonal relationships, and I think in the past couple of years I have moved back, and I've definitely tried to look at things from a distance almost, and try to really breathe and take it all in in a really different way. I think that the uh, Victoria is so sacred in what it has to offer, and I think that we are um, uh, just, it's plentiful, it's so rich in beauty that uh, my work has taken a totally different turn, and, and I think that the work at Being Around the World is a good representation of that. Um, it, uh, it, you can see where the old patterns come from, all the old colors, but um, there's more of a natural approach to work that is created here, and I think that, um, yeah, I think that's a good way of describing how my work has transitioned from these portraits into what now I think is my West Coast series. Yeah.